All right, welcome back. We'll pick up with uh, CVA. This is a cerebrovascular accident. Um, so this is ischemia of the brain. This is a stroke. Um, it's an occlusion of the vessels in the brain because cerebral means pertaining to the brain. Uh, vascular means blood vessels. All right, so this is an occlusion of the blood vessels in the brain. CVA, um, a mini stroke, or um, we also call it a transient ischemic attack. Okay, it can sometimes be called a stroke, so don't get them confused. All right, so make sure if it's a full-blown stroke, you use CVA, not just stroke, because stroke can be interpreted a few different ways. CVD, this is cardiovascular disease. It's a very vague, broad abbreviation. Um, it covers a lot of different diseases and disorders, um, but it has to do with the heart and the blood vessels. CX, this is a capital C lowercase x. It can mean a few different things. So I'm going to start from the right and go left, so a little backwards. But um, CX can mean complaint. Um, so you can have a patient with a complaint of, say, um, a swollen ankle or chest pain, difficulty breathing, right? That is their complaint. CX can also be complication. Complication is where something goes wrong, it goes off, right? Um, so a complication could be uh, with surgery, something go doesn't go as expected, that kind of thing. CX can also mean cervix, which is an anatomical location, okay? So females have a cervix, all right? We have the, um, from the outside in, you have the vaginal canal, and then you have the uterus. And the cervix is this lower circular muscle at the base of the uterus. Okay, so there's three parts of the uterus. There's the um, fundus, which is this top part. And then you have the body of the uterus, which is this middle part. And then the cervix is this canal right here at the base of it. Okay. D, this is for day. So if you remember BID, that was twice a day, right? Because bi is two, and then D literally means just day. Okay, it's lowercase d. D and C, this is dilation and curettage. Um, this is a procedure done on a female reproductive system, and I have a video regarding this. Your doctor will perform a dilation and curettage, also known as a D and C, to remove tissue from the inside of your uterus. The uterus is a muscular reproductive organ in your lower abdomen. The lower part of the uterus, called the cervix, connects the vagina to the uterus. A diagnostic DNC may be performed to investigate the cause of the following conditions. Abnormal or heavy bleeding, severe menstrual pain, difficulty becoming pregnant, or abnormal cells found in a pap smear. A therapeutic DNC may be performed to treat certain uterine conditions, such as excessive bleeding after birth from remnants of the placenta, cervical or uterine polyps, fibroid tumors, which are benign tumors formed on the uterine wall, and incomplete miscarriage or abortion, in which parts of the embryo or fetus or associated tissues remain in the uterus. Your doctor may want to begin the dilation process the day before your procedure. If so, your doctor will place a softening medication or a thin rod called a laminaria into your cervix. The laminaria slowly expands by absorbing fluid from your cervix, causing your cervix to open. During the procedure, you will lie on your back with your legs placed in stirrups as you would for a standard pelvic exam. You will receive local or general anesthesia. Your doctor will insert a speculum into your vagina, which widens the vaginal canal so the cervix can be seen. During dilation, your doctor will insert a series of smooth rods into the cervical opening. Each rod will be replaced with a slightly thicker rod, thereby slowly widening or dilating the cervical opening so the inside of the uterus can be accessed. Once the cervix has been expanded to about six to nine millimeters, your doctor may perform a hysteroscopy 
a procedure in which a small light and camera are used to examine the inside of the uterus for abnormal areas. Next, your doctor will perform curatage, which is the surgical removal of part or all of the uterine lining, called the endometrium. During curatage, a surgical tool called a curette will be inserted to remove tissue by scraping or suction. If you are having a diagnostic DNC, your doctor will remove only a small sample of the endometrium and send it to a lab to test for various conditions. If you are having a therapeutic DNC, your doctor will remove the entire contents of the uterus to treat a known uterine condition. After the procedure, you will be monitored in the recovery room for a few hours before you can go home. To prevent infection, do not have sexual intercourse or use tampons for about two weeks or until your doctor says it is safe to do so. Since your uterus will need to generate a new lining, your next menstrual period may not occur at the regular time. Okay, so it's a little bit about DNC, dilation and curatage. All right, Dee, this is dental assistant. Um, so these are the people that um, assist the dentist. They do not really do patient care, but they assist the dentist with whatever they may need done. DAT, this is diet as tolerated. Um, so uh, if, you know, maybe you need to reduce carbs or simple sugars, you need to um, adjust your diet as tolerated. DC, this is in capitals. No, that's in capitals. This one is lowercase down here, but this one is in capitals because it's the title of an individual. So this is a doctor of chiropractic. Um, they don't go to medical school, but they do go to a chiropractic school, which uh, goes in depth as to how the, the spine works and how it affects and works with the muscles and the nerves that go out to the rest of your body. Discontinue or discharge, this can be um, uppercase or lowercase. If it's uppercase, it has a slash there, a forward slash, D slash C. Um, basically, I've mainly the uh, most common abbreviation I've seen, at least in EMS, is the lowercase DC to discontinue. Like you discontinue an IV, you discontinue a medication, um, you're discharged from the hospital, that kind of thing. DDS, this is Doctor of Dental Surgery. If you remember friends, uh, Rachel always referred to her ex-fiance, Barry, as a DDS, uh, Doctor of Dental Surgery. They are a dentist. Um, they just have specialized. DEA, this is a Drug Enforcement Agency. Uh, medicine and the DEA go hand in hand um, because we, in medicine we do um, provide medication that has limits of how we can prescribe them. Uh, DEA has kind of helped um, shape what class drugs are in, what they can be used for, whether they're more addictive or not, uh, whether if they're more abused or not. And they, they're the ones that kind of um, help shape that in the medical system. So uh, things like opiates, okay, some are legal, some are not. Heroin is not legal, um, but say Norco and Vicodin are, okay. DEL, this is for delivery. So like uh, delivery, um, you deliver a baby, DEL, okay. Department, this is capital because generally department um, is a name, right? Department of Health and Human Services, Health Science Department, it's a name generally. So it's uppercase D with the lowercase EPT. And DH is dental hygienist. Uh, they are the individuals that work for a dentist that clean the teeth um, and they do all the direct patient care before the dentist gets to them. Uh, you can have, for a dental hygienist, you can have an associate's, bachelor's, or master's level of education, which is kind of neat. All right, well, that concludes our chart three, okay? We'll test on this next week. And um, please study. This is 
uh, the last of the chart for this week, and we'll go on to CPRM first aid for the rest of the videos.